Juliet, uh, firstly, hello, how are you? I'm very good, thank you, Sam. How are you? I'm not too bad. Uh, and uh, I am delighted to find out, Juliet, that you are starring in Professor T. Uh, now, mm-hmm. uh, when I started seeing all the adverts for P- Professor T, um, mm. it, I looked at it and I just thought, that is my type of programme. Is, is, is this your particular genre as well? Oh, no, I don't really have a particular genre. You know, I like a lot of lot of various, various different things. But um, I, I, I'm enjoying this. I've been watching it go out. And, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's good fun. It's good fun. There's a good element. There's a good balance of uh, like serious crime drama element, but with sort of some fun uh, sort of clinical psychology and fantasy sequences and like all of that, which has been a lot of fun to film. Mm -hmm. And I think that whenever you see a programme like this, there's a particular Mm. sort of style, isn't there? Because you've seen it Mm -hmm. in the likes of, say, Midsummer Murders and Death in Paradise. And it's almost like lighthearted TV drama, but is all... Mm. Do do you get what I mean when I say that? Yeah, yeah, I do. I would say it was slightly more... uh, Yeah, verging away from from sort of... It's not quite as... Oh, I don't want to say anything bad about any other programme, but it's something... I think there's something very, very stylish about it, especially the way it's it's filmed, the way it's shot. It's it's really beautifully shot. And it's it's not twee in any way that some of those... Not saying that those ones that you just mentioned are, but they they can be. They can be quite... And it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel cute or twee. It feels like, you know, the, the... the, the crimes are, feel really pretty real. And then the, but they've got the really interesting, um, yeah, the flashbacks and, the, and the, uh, the inner world of the characters. And the char- all of the characters have their own world and they're so, so three dimensional, mm-hmm. which helps us sort of get in more involved with them, really. Yeah. And I'd imagine for you as an actor, that must have been when the script came to your door asking you to be involved in this type of program, mm. this program mm. itself, that you must have just jumped at the chance. Yeah, well, you know, I, I gave it I gave it a good read. I mean, I didn't, I, it's one of those nice ones where you just open your email box and there is this lovely offer, but you don't know anything about it. So I, yeah, I, I got in touch with them all and uh, spoke a lot with Dries, the director, uh, who's fantastic, who's just brilliant. And then obviously I've already worked, and with Walter, you know, and uh, um, Joe McGrath from Eagle Eye and all of them had good chats. And um, I like, I, I like, I like the idea of playing DC. The last time I played a police officer was in a, a Linda Laplante TV series called Supply and Demand, which was much more sort of dirty streetwise undercover cops, you know. And this is, this is a different, different thing altogether. But interesting to, yeah, to find out about what it's like to, you know, to go on that journey as a woman to get to that point in the police force. It's pretty tough, you know. And she's, mm. she's pretty tough. She's pretty tough woman. Mm. They're going to be, there's going to be people watching this who have uh, no idea what Professor T is all about, um, no idea mm-hmm. what this story is. So um, what is Professor T all about? Uh, it's about a crime in a uh, sleepy, uh, sleepy town, city of Cambridge. Not that sleepy, but um, the, and, and centres around a criminal investigation department led by Christina, DCI Christina Brands, my character, and they haven't seen anything like it. And they're a pretty rugged team. There's herself, and then she's got her um, her two sort of apprentices, really, who are really young and learning, but full of potential. And then her DI, Paul Rabbit, is pretty much going off the rails. So then all these crimes start happening, and she needs to up the game, up the, up the game of the team. So that's when she gets... Um, Professor T on board, Jasper. Now, Jasper just happens to be an old flame of hers. So there's a bit of jeopardy in her inviting him to join the team. Would, does she really want to open up her heart to, to him again? Um, so there's, yeah, so there's, there's a lot at stake, but we need him. We need him. We have to admit, we do need him in our slightly raggedy team. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, you're working with a wonderful cast here. Uh, with yeah. Ben Miller as the the titular yeah. uh, professor. Yeah. T. Uh, what is it yeah. like working with all those people? Everyone was fantastic, and I've worked with Ben before. We did um, a series called Primeval um, a few years ago, well, quite a few years ago together. So we've been running with dinosaurs together, and now we're running with crime and uh the punishment that that involves and they were all wonderful and obviously we were filming under lockdown so it's it's an unusual sort of uh environment because it's we're all in masks and we're all you can't have that usual sort of rehearsal time all together it's more like a lot of it on zooms you know as we as we're doing now as we're all so used to now Mm -hmm. which is why you didn't have any trouble at all setting it up 
Yeah, and and you know you mentioned the the, the Zoom element of it, and of course uh, we we are in a pandemic. And um, what was the whole process mm. like of filming Professor T during the pandemic? Yeah, it was tricky. We had a, an extremely scary uh, woman who used to stick like a you know brush up our nose every morning. <laughs> she was terrifying, really, really scary. Uh, anyway, once we once we'd done that, was fine. I mean, you, and you rehearse with masks on and everything, and then you you know you, you you take them off. But I mean, things like rehearsing the tango sequence and stuff like that. We we normally you would have a lot more time to 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 rehearse those things, and um and and we didn't because of because of the pandemic. But um yeah, we had a lot of fun, a lot a lot of fun with it, a lot of fun doing. It. And also the, the the Belgian team are incredible. So Dries, our director, has worked loads with all of that team, and they're all really good fun, and they work really really well together. It's quite a small unit, really slick, really fast, and and really good fun. Yeah. Mm. Did it feel slightly weird for you, kind of getting back on set after that time away? Yeah, yeah, because I've been locked in. I've, I made a little studio, in Aubrey Studios, in my in the spare room. I had to do loads of audio stuff work when filming wasn't happening. So you're used to being quite, yeah, pretty much working on your own and solo. So it's a bit over exciting to be out and about. And, yeah, being allowed to actually communicate with people is fantastic. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, just finally uh, for you, Juliet, uh, to somebody mm. who was about to watch Professor T, uh, yeah. what what can they expect from it? What, what, why should somebody watch it? I think it's uh, it's compelling. It's slick. It has humour. It has depth in sort of psychological ways. Uh, and it has crime, which is real, but not too incredibly awfully uh disturbing and 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 as well it's well handled it's also quite yeah fun i think it's fun i think people will enjoy it they seem to be enjoying it so far i'm sold uh juliet from all of us thank you very much and have a lovely day my pleasure bye bye